What's up everybody, it's Casey, the Game GameQT, and we are back here again with the Rise of the Mechromancer, Part 2. Last we left off, our party had just completed a ritual that granted Sylvie and Snow some transformations and powers, respectively. You can check those out at the end of the last episode where the item cards were. They took stock of these new abilities before heading outside of the temple, where they were greeted by some agents of the Shudala Kaora, or the Thieves' Guild in my world. They had finally parsed through the information given to them by Ale and Callum on previous times being members of the Thieves' Guild, respectively. They told them that roughly a mile away in the Undermarket, below the slums quarter was an old warehouse with some type of cash in it. Along with the possibility of loot, they told them that there also may be information pertaining to the Mogushan vaults as well, and it probably would be in their best interest to look into it. A quick trip down the undermarket alleyways, and they found their destination, avoiding any encounters along the way with some successful stealth checks. As they found this warehouse, they pressed inside and found a dilapidated alchemist's garden, as well as a couple of doors leading further within. They made their way through, and the party managed to find a host of loot, including scrolls, potions, poisons, and even a few magical items along the way. They then found a fancy door with a lock on it, and then some runes around the edges of it. As Dara began to pick the locks and failed a few times, some darts triggered to shoot out. Good old-fashioned wall darts. She finally succeeded, and at that point, the runes activated and hit some fire. Both Dara and Snow took some damage. The loud explosion caused the ambush crew that was waiting in the back to come to the other side of the dungeon and ambush them, albeit a little less prepared. So they had to fight three robo-rogues, three cultists, and a water elemental before they won and were victorious. The next part of the dungeon found them near some jail cells containing a pond in one and a skeleton in the other. Snow investigated the skeleton to find an amulet of the devout, plus one, bearing the symbol of Rakdos while Ael and Gideon investigated the puddle to find a hidden passage into a flooded fancy lodging quarters. Here they found some gold and platinum pieces as well as a few more scrolls. Once the party all reconvened, they had found a plethora of goodies before arriving at a door with the symbols of Demir, Simic, Izet, and Selesnya. The four of our members stepped forward, placing their symbols one at a time. Gideon placing Azet, Callum placing Demir, Ael placing Simic, being that he is a failed Simic experiment, Though his symbol is busted, it still worked. Snow placed the symbol of Tyr that was then transformed to have green foliage and look like the symbol of Selesnya and Tyr combined. After this, the door repaired all the symbols and then ejected them before opening. The party stepped inside and found a vault of gold and loot. Once they investigated along the areas, they had found a Demir key rune, a Simic key rune, an Izet key rune, and a Selesnya key rune, along with some more scrolls, some more potions, some more gold, an all-purpose tool, plus one. Once they investigated, they found another door hidden on the side. It had five gear like placements within where the players could place their Mistwalker amulets in their original mercurial gear form instead of their personalized trinkets. As they tried, the door seemed like it would open before a click and some type of mechanism whirred down. The amulets returned to their owners and an etching appeared on the door. Here lies the heart of the Mechromancer, forever enduring. As they began to make some history checks, they concluded that this must be an entrance to the Mogushan vaults. However, they would need to empower five of their Mistwalker amulets to access the entrance, being seven players in total. This is where the session ended for the week, so all in all, the players had a small dungeon crawl and managed to find their loot. We'll pick up this week with the players leaving the warehouse and see what they get into. Either way, I'm Casey, the Game Putee. Thanks for watching. At the end of the day, we'll always be here. Bye-bye, everybody.